what's up youtube and welcome back to my channel life of deja today is february 10th it is 3 8 p.m and i'm about to head to the store i did a grocery pickup for heb for today um and i want to try to go to target because i need to get some household things like toilet paper maybe some paper towels things like that and then I'm gonna try to go to Marshalls, but it's looking kind of cloudy outside, like it might rain, so I might cut Marshalls and just get my groceries and go to Target. My groceries are gonna be ready between 4.30 and 5 p.m., so I'm about to leave the house now. That way I have time to kind of go to Marshalls first and then kind of go to Target. But when I go to Marshalls, I kind of wanna get some stuff for the entertainment stand to see if I can get like just a few pieces of things. I'm gonna also see if I can get some stuff off of Amazon maybe. Um, just to kind of clutter it up a little bit and you know get some vibes going there i do have an amazon package downstairs that i need to get and i also have one that should be out for delivery um i am going to be changing out the rails of my bed right now i have the wood pieces of the platform bed but i ordered like a metal frame instead i'm going to be trying to use that instead because those wood pieces i'm gonna be grow and <laughs> Some of those wood pieces are broken. I used some wood glue when I first moved to kind of like repair some of those and put those broken ones towards the bottom. But I kind of just want to get rid of the wood pieces all together. Like I've been wanting it for a while to use just like a metal frame because I also want to get a box spring. And those like wooden pieces, I don't think that they can handle a box spring. But I also want my bed to be a little bit higher. So I ordered kind of like a higher one. I think the inside of my bed is like a foot. And I think the frame that I ordered is 14 inches. So it's just a little bit taller, but it's definitely gonna be taller than what my bed is now because my the wood pieces sit at maybe like 10 inches. So it's already gonna be coming up. I wanna say that the, the frame I ordered is 14 inches. It might be 18. If it's 18, it might be way too tall, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I'm a little nervous about it fitting on the inside of my bed and I'll show you guys later why, but that's coming today. Hopefully I can set that up today. If not today, then tomorrow for sure. But let's go ahead and get to the store so I can hurry up and make it back home before it starts raining. Because don't nobody want to be outside in the rain. I'm going to have my toes out. It's like 76 degrees. Like, don't nobody got time for that. So I'll see you at the store. Honestly, I'm trying to stay focused. You must think I got to be joking when I say I don't think I can wait. I just need it now. Let it swing my way. I just need some need. I just need some love. Tired of fucking with these lying niggas, baby. I just need a thug. Won't you be my plug, eh? You could be the one, eh? You can start with a handshake, baby. I'ma need more than a hug. Girls can never say they want it. Girls can never say I. Okay, y'all, so I just got back home from the store. I have... You can't even see. This car is filled to the brim. So let's go ahead and start unpacking everything. And do like a quick haul. So I'll do this on top first, and then we'll do like a grocery haul. So Target, who could be calling me at this inopportune time? I'm gonna have to call you back. use my phone because I do not know where my target receipt is and I don't feel like looking for it. So at Target I spent, I had two 
um, transactions, purchase history, in store. So yeah, today, So my first order from Target, I spent $96, it was $5 of tax. Um, I did get $15 worth of gift cards and $2.50 off with a coupon. So from Target, I got this toilet paper, it's the Charmin Ultra Soft. Um, I kind of wanted to try this out, I like the perforated edges, I know that's like Special, but Charmin is also good tissue general. So I got me some Charmin. Um, I got, I need to look to see what was on what. This was my I also got like a back scrubber, a bristle scrubber. I needed a new one. It was a little too soft for me, but it's okay. We'll make it work. Um, I finally got me some Cascade Pods for my dishes. Had to get me some more for Breeze Bamboo. And my house continuously smelling right. Um, let's see. One more tiny bag. And then I got me this whip. Was this on this one? Yeah. I got me this Moroccan Rose Whip Shea Butter by the brand Tree Hut. I love this fragrance. It smells a little different, but I still like it. I got me a new bottle of lotion. I'm going to try out the Nivea Shea Nourish, Nourish instead of the one that I normally get. I normally get Jergens or that, where I get the EOS. EOS? EOS, whichever one they go by, lotion and vanilla cashmere, but we're gonna try that out. And I just, best practice to me is just always grabbing a tube of, a can of deodorant because why would I ever want to run out? <laughs> so that was the first transaction. And again, I spent $96 on that, 80 cents. I had $5.47 of tax in there, but $2.50 was coupons. Um, and then I got a $15 Target gift card which I used to purchase this stuff, which was just three things. I got me some make it a size paper towels. I also got some vanilla passion fruit. This is my favorite glaze scent, and I use this in my bedroom and in my bathroom. And then also, I wanted to try this Hydro Silk Trim Style Razor to see how this goes. It was a $4 off coupon, so it was a, it was a we get in it for me. And on this transaction, I spent $35, um, including having my $4 off. 35 36 was my total. I used my $15 gift card, so then I only paid $16.36 for that. So that is everything I got from Target. Let's see if we can move it to the other counter. Oh, come on. No, I've been changed. take a thumbnail with that stuff you know but that was my target haul today up next we're going to go to Dollar Tree so if you remember I did go to Marshall's but Marshall's home good but they didn't have anything um, I'm sure I probably inserted the clips in there but they didn't have anything that like piqued my interest or made me feel like Oh, we should get this. It was this one like glass thing, and I was like, 
eh, it wasn't really selling me, so I was like, don't get it. So I didn't get anything from Marshalls. It was a very short trip. But I did go to Dollar Tree. So I wanted my Target receipts. Um, but at Dollar Tree, I spent $11.25. Oh, sorry. $11.66 was my total that I spent at Dollar Tree. I got me some more sponges for doing the dishes. Um, I always, when I go on Dollar Tree, you know, I got to get my Betty Crocker cookie mix. I went ahead. The reason why I went to Dollar Tree was to get me some Idaho potatoes. I got the roasted garlic flavor for dinner tonight. I got me some double A batteries for my alarm system keypad. The batteries are one day, so another reason why I had to go to Dollar Tree. I got these freezer bags. I don't know how I feel about Bull Roy. Nothing against Bull Roy, but I don't know. We will see how these work. I'm, they didn't have any of the regular like Dollar Tree freezer bags, which we gonna see. <laughs> I got me some, some Sasson because I said my Dollar Tree got the Sasson in there and not me out and need some. So I went ahead and got it because I'm sure it probably would cost more than in the store. And the last thing I got me just this thing of beef jerky, pepper beef jerky that I'm about to open up and eat in a few minutes because it is 547. I have not eaten anything today. I am starving. But that was my Dollar Tree haul. So much. Ooh. Trap and stuff, boo. Nothing too crazy. I went there to get these Idaho potatoes because of what I'm making for dinner tonight, which I'm actually about to start making in when I finish going through this haul and putting everything away. It's gonna be time to get started on dinner. Bye. And then lastly was H-E-B. I spent, let me see. In H-E-B, I spent a total, I think like 135. Let's see, orders. View details. At H-E-B, I spent 137.46. I did pay $5 for a curbside fee because in order to get my groceries today, I had to spend $5. If I wanted to get them tomorrow, it would have been free, but it wasn't going to be available tomorrow until like 7, 8 o'clock. And I said, I'm not waiting that long, nor am I going to like, wait, what was I thinking? I'm not waiting until 7, 8 o'clock to go pick up my groceries. Also, if I'm going to pay $5 for express pickup, the earliest they had yesterday, but tomorrow was five. I said, I'll just get it today because I need food. Like, we need food. Like, there's everything in there. Thaw. Cook. Which I was going to cook salmon tonight, but I'm scratching the salmon. I'm making something else. Anyway, 137 is what we spent at HEB. And I had like $17 of coupons. 16 17 of coupons and only spent two cents in tax. I love Texas. <laughs> So let me quickly unpack this order. I'm nervous about this sugar. It's, it's H-E-B sugar. I, I'm assuming it's regular sugar, but we don't see when we walk in. And they only didn't have one thing I want, two things I wanted. They didn't have they didn't have an onion, which they told me. So that's fine. I got two types of onions, so I just won't have that one. And they also didn't have red onions. What's going on with the onions? Hmm. Oop, this is a lot more sour cream than I thought it was going to be. Okay, so I just want to show y'all everything that I got from H-E-B, like all of my groceries. Not too much, but 
I feel like I spent a lot and I think I know why I spent a lot is because I spent like $15 on yogurt. <laughs> Hear me out. So um, for HEB, I got some green peppers. They got one onion uh, pepper trio thing. I got me some steak. This was 20 bucks right there. You know, steak ain't cheap. And these are thick too. Like these are thicker than what I thought they were gonna be. They had like a sale going on. Nice thick steak, New York style, New York strip. Um, then I got me my favorite spicy guacamole from H-E-B, some grape tomatoes, some cage-free large white eggs. Um, and then up here, I got me the Chobani Flip. I'm gonna try the s'mores flavor, see how that go. They had a coupon where spend 20 on Chobani, get $5 off your cart. So that's why I got so much yogurt. Um, I got some milk and then some regular almond milk. Um, I have some extra long butter, apparently. I don't even know they made butter this long, but I got it. <laughs> um, and then I'm also trying out a new, another flavor. I'm trying, trying out the chocolate haze craze for the Chobani. And then I got my favorite um, Tiki dough flip cups. Then um, I got me the wild berry Chobani, but I don't know about you, but H-E-B obviously love me because they love to give me free stuff. I didn't even order this. This was nowhere in my cart, but they gave me these Dan and Fit Like Greek strawberry yogurts. I hope I got enough time to get through all of these yogurts. Like I I hope, oh yeah, I got some time. It's like March, 2024. All of these so far say March, like end of March. So I got time to get through these yogurts. I figured like one a day for the next two, three weeks, we, we good. <laughs> um, and then I got me, Trying out this three cheese cheddar blends. And then of course I always gotta get Mexican cheese. I got me Miss Butterworth syrup, which came with some free pancake mix that I'm gonna show you in a second. Re-upped on the sea sal salt, sea sal, what? Sea salt uh, tortilla chips to go with my spicy guacamole. Some sour cream, cause I'm gonna make some tacos. Um, some classic romaine salad blend. Some minced garlic, of course. Some singles cheese, American. Um, and then I got me just two cucumbers, some applesauce, steakhouse balsamic salad mix, or salad kit, and then a classic Caesar salad kit. Then some sugar, and these Oreos were on sale, so I got two packs of Oreos. Um, they didn't have the big pack of pudding cups, so I just got two of the little four counts. And I guess chocolate fudge was the flavor I chose. Um, and then over here, I got some spicy season fries, some garlic and herb fries. I wanna try these out. These spicy season ones was good. And they were on sale. They're normally like three, almost $4, but they were on sale for two for five. So I got two different types. This was the free pancake mix that came with my Miss Butterworth syrup. And then I got me some salsa to have with the chips and guac, and then also when I make tacos. So that is my H-E-B haul. Oh, and I also got these little spring rolls. These are some Thai style spring rolls. They sound good, cooks in three minutes. Says it comes with the sauce, so we gonna see how these are. I think they were like $4, so they were like a dollar each, basically a roll. Um, and I think it came with a dollar off coupon, so it was like $3, but this is everything. This was about $137 worth of stuff, but that's because I OD'd and got yogurt and they gave me some free yogurt because they said obviously she like yogurt, so we gonna get her an extra pack. <laughs> and I got steak and steak ain't cheap. You know, my goal was to spend like $100, but being that I got the steak and I went a little ham on the yogurt, I'm happy. And they gave me everything this time. I'm not missing anything besides the onion, which they told me they were out of stock of, so. That is it. Let me try to get some um, thumbnail dirty stuff. Because we need a thumbnail. Okay. Oreo's not in the picture. Oh, and I always forget, I also got this 40 count case of 
just regular purified drinking water from H-E-B as well. I don't know why I always forget the water. But yeah, I'm about to put all of this stuff away and then for dinner tonight, I want to make one or two of the steaks. I'll probably make two of the steaks and then put the other two steaks in the fridge. I don't like to freeze steaks. I feel like if you're buying steak, you need to cook them right away. So I'm gonna make two steaks today, like maybe one, cause I don't wanna reheat it either. So one steak tonight, um, and then I'll probably have steak tomorrow. I'll probably season it up and cook that one tonight, just so I'm not making one steak. And then tomorrow I'll probably make the other two steaks or the day after I'll make the other two. Well, I'll work the day after. So tomorrow I'll probably make the other two steaks. Something like that, I might leave them in the fridge for like a day or so and then make them later. But I don't like to freeze steaks. I feel like if I'm buying steaks, I'm cooking them. And it's gonna be interesting to cook a steak, a, a, steak, a steak this thick, so it's gonna be fun. But yeah, so for dinner tonight, I'm gonna do a steak. I'm gonna do one of my potatoes that I got. Um, and then probably like some broccoli, lemon butter, lemon garlic. Mm, yeah, maybe like some lemon garlic, broccoli, some garlic butter steak, and then the, the potatoes. Maybe a dinner roll, we'll see. Um, maybe probably make some sweet tea so I have a drink. But yeah, it is 6.03 now. I'm so thankful that God held off the rain for me because I didn't want to be outside while I was raining. It drizzled a little bit, but only when I was driving. So yeah, did all of that stuff. So I'm about to put everything away and probably chill for a second, eat my little beef jerky. And then probably about seven o'clock or so, I'll probably get up and cook dinner because I am starving. I might just go ahead and eat the beef while beef jerky while I'm cooking the steak because I need something. I am starving. But yeah, luckily everything I'm cooking is not gonna take long to make. So I'll see you guys later. This beef jerky was fire. Should've got two. I have some bad news. Wondering why I keep seeing salad everywhere. My classic Caesar salad is ripped or sliced. So, I won't be eating that. My words still stress and perfection. Let you all in my mental got me looking too desperate. Damn, the rain is out. forget that I'm out of pepper. Wish me luck.
up YouTube and welcome back to my channel Life of Deja or actually good morning or good afternoon I think this is all gonna be in a vlog that I've already started so wonderful I'm starting to get it together um, but yeah I think this is gonna all be inside of a vlog that I've already started so that's wonderful I'm starting to get it together but today let me just here we go just so that you can make sure you can hear me today we are going to be doing a little bit more of our apartment updates so today there's only two things i want to do um or that i have to do in the apartment today to kind of like upgrade it but it's not things that you will visibly see it's kind of things that or one of which you're not going to really see the other one is like a teeny tiny thing so it's like eh. but you know it's kind of more so upgrading my quality of life I don't know if that's like the right term I want to use. Anyway, let me just say what we need to do. So I've got two things, one of which is right here. I ordered some new shower caddies for the shower. It's just two shelves that I'm gonna hang up instead of like the one that I have over the shower head. So that's one of which, you know, minuscule, not really making an impact, not making a break in me because I do already have a rack in the shower. The second one is actually upgrading my bed um as you, if you remember it i'll try to link it above my um moving vlog i think number two where i set up my bed i have those you know it's a platform bed so i have those wood planks on them you know your bed and occasionally some of those will break and crack and whatever whatever so i when i moved actually before i moved I actually used some gorilla wood glue to kind of like glue some of those back together but i'm kind of over it i want something a little bit more solid and structured because I also want to kind of like raise my bed a little bit I've been thinking about for the longest time getting a box spring to kind of just elevate my bed or make my bed just a little bit higher inside the actual inside the actual like structure of my bed because you know my bed let me just show you because I don't know if I'm making sense so so here's my room so this is my bed so do you see how it's kind of like really low in there like it's sitting kind of low so i've been wanting to kind of like raise it just a little bit so i've been for the longest time wanting to do um, a box spring because i feel like that will help raise it a little bit but i don't have a box spring right now so the next best thing is to get like since i want to replace the platform wood pieces under the bed is to get one that's going to make it taller so two things i'm a bit concerned about when it comes to upgrading my bed and making it a little bit stronger more structured and taller one is i'm nervous about the overall structure fitting because it's technically its own bed frame so there's one i'm hoping it fits perfectly without you know getting in the way of the actual bed structure itself because essentially under my bed there are like two rods or two things in the middle so that the platform pieces can fit in two. I'm hoping that those won't get in the way of me putting in the new bed frame as well as like there's wood on one side of the when we get into the bed I'll show you so it can make sense but essentially I'm nervous about the bed frame fitting inside my actual bed and then two i'm nervous that i might have gotten it too high because when i measured when i measured in one of my past videos i think it was like right at a foot like the upholstered trunk at the bottom of my bed it was like right at a foot um which means my bed is sitting maybe like 10 inches inside that's like where the the planks are for my bed so i was thinking if that's already like 12 would make it like level width the um trunks of my bed i don't know if i'm making sense that i should get maybe 14 and i thought i ordered 14 but i had some issues with the one that i wanted to order and i had to switch it a few times because it wasn't going to come in until like end of march and then the other one was like trying to charge it was like 40 bucks but they were charging 50 bucks for shipping and that was with prime and i was like oh no Anyway, long story short, I found one, but I didn't realize that I ordered the 18 inch. 
so I'm thinking that might be a little too tall. <laughs> that might be a little too tall and I don't think I can like adjust it as far as height wise. So <sighs> we will see. I'm actually about to go ahead and just get started with that now. I think it's almost two o'clock and I just kind of want to do this today because I've been putting it off for long enough. So let's just go ahead and get into it and just wish me luck that it's not stupid tall. It fits perfectly, and you know, it fits perfectly inside the, the bed frame. <sighs> Let's do it. Pray for me for sure. I said five in the morning. I wake up to five for my yarn. You're in my mind is a warning. Pray to the one you're relying. I've been wandering all day. Tried to be fine, but I can't be. The noise in my mind wouldn't leave me. I tried to get by, but I'm burning. pieces but as you can see some of them are broken I did use some Gorilla Wood glue to fix them but you know it's broken so eventually it will break again I didn't have clips to like hold it in place so it's like jerry-rigged and then these are the two metal pieces that I was talking about like I'm hoping these because these I would keep the headboard standing upright and attach the headboard to the footboard or to the trunk at the bottom. So I kind of need to keep these in place. I'm pretty sure worst case scenario, I could remove them and everything would still be okay because my bed frame would be there like holding the headboard up, but I prefer to leave them. So I'm hoping I can just basically take out these wood pieces, maybe not even have to take out the wood pieces, but essentially lay the new bed, the new frame right on top my other concern is on the inner sides let me get you my other concern is these little wood frame pieces that are like in the wood or like screwed into the side piece i'm concerned that these are going to get in the way of the new legs of the new frame but we are gonna do our best. Hopefully, I don't have to take all this up. I can just kind of like leave it because my bed is gonna sit higher, but we're gonna see. I imagine I gotta take it out, at least this middle row, because I think it's two sides. Instead of three, it's two. But let me go show you the box. It's a big box that I'm not happy about carrying. Let me tell you something. We absolutely gotta put it down but here's the new frame this is kind of what it's going to look like so let's go ahead and set it up Thank you. 
I'm a little nervous right out the box. It got a little scrapes. So I'm hoping this isn't a used one. <sighs> but let's get started. This is like one half, so I need to see real quick. Make sure it's gonna fit inside. Yeah. Can you tell I'm defeated? Let me bring you in closer. So this was very short lived and I am saddened. I am defeated. <laughs> Not defeated. Not defeated, but. <sighs> Let me show you. So. This is what it's looking like. I, piece is falling. I have it as far. Yeah, this is definitely like an old set, first of all. It's not brand new. But I have it as far over as I can. It was going to be like the perfect height, though. Looking at it. At least up here looks like a good height. The foot, depending on how high the mattress sits. I don't know. But this is where we're running into a problem. This is both of the pieces in there. And as you can see, good news was I wasn't going to have to, only thing I was going to have to do was remove these. But a problem that I was going to have was still with this because this would have gotten in the way. But side note, it's too big. However much this is, maybe like two inches, maybe two inches too big. So we're not able to put the bed together or use this, which is sad face because the thought of having to return this uh, and the headache that I'm going to go through with that is honestly depressing, but we'll get it returned. Um, it did come prime, so it should still be free returns or whatever, but yeah, and there's like no way because this is how the trunks this is the trunk right here this is how it attaches to the headboard to make this solid and to keep you know everything where it's supposed to be there's no way that i can move this like an inch on each side like if i did then they weren't they wouldn't be secure which means those would fall apart i imagine often and it would stick out way further than the headboard 
on the side, but <sighs> that is where I'm at with this. Let me, I should have grabbed the one that sticks up. But that is where I'm at with this. Defeated, sad because I moved my bed for no reason. Luckily, I didn't take off all these wood pieces and I didn't take off this wood piece on the side because another issue I'm having is, let me try to show you. This particular side, it's a little loose, like this piece of wood. Like you can see the spacing at the foot of the bed. So look, look. You can even kind of like hear it. So it's not as secure. Easy fix would be just getting maybe some screws and screwing them in a little bit more secure. But I really wanted to do metal and not wood. So new plan. This time actually measure. Because you would have thought, you know, I measured, but I didn't because I'm like, oh, it's a king size. The frames in the bed should all be the same. But because this bed is so massive, I imagine they went true to size to the part where the mattress sits versus going over. So, yeah. I don't have the energy to put this bed back. I don't have the energy to pack this box again. I don't have the energy to do any of those things. It's my own fault because I didn't measure. So new plan is while I'm down here, while I'm in this, try to take an accurate measurement. I could have maybe gotten a queen. Oh, you know what I think it is? Alexa, how big, how much bigger is a California king compared to a king? A California king mattress is larger and narrower than a king mattress. A California king mattress is four inches wider and four inches shorter than a king mattress. I think that might be what it is because when I open this, I'll show you guys in a second. On the instructions, it says full queen king, Cali king, KC, which is California king. So I'm wondering if regardless of what size bed you get, they send you the same frame. But thinking about that, wouldn't a full size bed look stupid on this frame? <coughs> Wouldn't a full size bed look stupid on this frame? <coughs> I don't know, I think so. If it's a California King frame. What's going on my throat? <coughs> Wouldn't a California King, wouldn't a full size bed frame Look stupid on this. Wouldn't a full size bed look stupid on this California King frame? I feel like I had to say that too many times. I don't know what was going on. <sighs> I need to pack this up now because I'm not going to want to do it later. So. <sighs> Failed bed upgrade. It is what it is. When I get my money back, I could try to find something else. Definitely though. Is that a silverfish in my bed? Hold on. Y'all. Ain't that a silverfish? 
Don't them things crawl in your ear and lay eggs? <gasps> uh, oh my god. That's honestly scary. Ooh. Now I'm paranoid and, in our, and I'm going to aggressively go. Are we zoomed all the way out? Now I'm paranoid and I'm going to aggressively go clean my ears later because how he get this close to me? Second of all, how do they get in your house? Third of all, I seen what I needed to see and it's, it's immediately no. It's immediately no. How dare you? The audacity of you. I would prefer you over anything else that I could have possibly snuck, snuck up in my my house but oh my god what if it's one touching me or behind me i do not do bugs okay good news is this wasn't nothing behind me but y'all i do not do bugs so me seeing him got me scared because he was seconds away from laying eggs in my little bitty ear seconds away one sleep one sleep away from laying his little bitty eggs in my ear. What happens if they lay eggs in your ear? Alexa, what happens if a silverfish lays eggs in your ear? If a silverfish were to lay eggs in a human ear, it would not be a common occurrence, and it is not something that silverfish are known to do. I'm sorry for speaking that upon you, sir. Alexa, what does silverfish do? Silverfish are tiny, wingless insects in the order Zygentoma. They feed on a variety of materials, such as paper, cardboard, glue, and even some types of sugar. Their name comes from their silvery appearance and their preference for dark, moist environments. I'm sorry for saying that you lay 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 eggs in people's in people's ears. May, are those called silverfish? Maybe they're not called silverfish. What them what them things called? What them things called? Uh, okay, I gotta handle him. I can't keep looking at him in my bed. I feel like while well, I keep my eye on him, I just want to vent real quick. I feel like if you were to see a bug in your apartment. The most disrespectful place it could be is your bed. Your bedroom is, you know, up there on the list because how dare you? But your bed, your bed is another level of, girl, I thought I saw a move, is another level of disrespect because first of all, how dare you? Second of all, how dare you? Again, my peace, my sanity, my mental health, how dare you? Third of all, you don't, this is, this is where I sleep. This is where I, I rest. This is where I decompress. This is my happiness when I walk into my home. Like, I just don't understand. Like, he might not want to hurt me. He might not want to be near me. He might not want any of that. But the fact that you was up in here is one thing. Because, you know, I think they get into your apartment through the vents because I feel like, Normally you see them around the vents. So they, do they get in through the ducts or something? I don't know. But like for you to have like mingled your little way, bitty way, to my bed. I gotta go. I gotta get my life together and get him before he try to skedaddle on me. Because one thing you will not do is skedaddle in and around my bed. And we honestly are about to vacuum our bed because maybe you laid your little bitty eggs, not in my ear, but in my bed, vacuum my bed um, and wash my sheets. I'm putting those sheets right back on because I've been feeling the pink and the white, but It's a no for me. It's a no for me, like. Let me stop looking for I see another one and then really cry.
immediately know. Y'all, I have horrible news. I shot, is that him? I see you. I tried to get him right. I tried to get him, but he's so thin that I couldn't smush him. I don't like smushing stuff. I couldn't, I couldn't smush him. So he just like ran and he ran so fast. I see him. I see him now. So my next alternative, because I don't have the mental capacity to try to smush him times two, is I gotta go find some type of bug spray. Thought I saw something on me. Don't you dare move. Your little silverfish legs. I'ma look up what you miss. I'ma look up what you is. <clears throat> I'ma look at what you is. I'ma look at what you is and figure out why you felt the need to come up in my establishment causing drama. You got this, Deja. This your house. This your house. You ain't finna let no love. Whatever he is cause chaos cause chaos. You not finna do it. You not finna do it. You not finna do it. He not finna do this. <laughs> not to you. He not finna do it. He not finna do it. He not finna do it. Do it shake shake before you do this? What if I shook it and then it's not gonna come out right? Shake well. I should get the vacuum cleaner and suck you up, but I feel like you slimy enough to squeeze your way up out of there. You got this. Long, strong spray. Long, strong spray. Let me move these people's stuff because I got to return this. Okay, long, strong spray. At least he, 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 he came back so you can see him. Thank you, God. That was the grace of God. Okay, 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 okay. You don't want to breathe in no fumes. <laughs> First of all, and if you want to know if I'm really this dramatic in real life when it comes to bugs, ask my mama. Ask my mama. I saw a water bug in my apartment one time. <clears throat> around the time I had first moved in my last apartment in the laundry room, I was on the phone with her at like 1, 2 in the morning crying, waiting for DoorDash to come deliver me this can here raid. I sprayed half the can that night. Hence the little squirt you hear now. Okay. 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 First of all, I asked you to nicely not to get in my way. Because I need to be able to see without obstruction if he started trying to skedaddle on me. Okay, move the napkin, move the napkin, cause he don't wanna, he don't wanna run into that napkin. Yeah. I got you, I got you. Dead up all of that, all up in all of all of that. I didn't all that on the spray. Help me, Father. Whew, it's probably not good to get this moisture on the wood, but um, what else was I to do? Okay, give it a second. Let it air in there. Let it seep into his pores. I really hope it kills him. He's not an ant or a roach, but I hope the pesticides is pesticiding. And it suffocates him and he dies. <sighs> okay. okay. I don't really want to touch the wood plate. Okay. It's okay. God, I ask for your strength and your mercy, God. 
I ain't got time for you to be playing. Just come out. Okay. Take the other one so you can see what he run next time. Okay. Two out. He's dead. He has to be. He has to be dead. How could you survive an atomic bomb like that? You couldn't. You couldn't. You dead, right? Just be dead, bro. Haven't I been through enough? I've been through enough. I just want to see your dead body. I, if I don't see your body, I won't see his body, y'all. Okay, okay, okay. I'll do the next one. I'll do the next one. Okay? He dead. He gotta be. He gotta be. He gotta be dead, bro. He got to be dead, bro. He got to be dead, bro. Oh my God, y'all, I don't see his body. I don't see his body, okay. Just pull the plank about, pull the plank about. Why this plank don't work? Okay, okay, you got it. Pull it out. <sighs> what you doing? Okay, that's why you didn't wanna move. Okay. Okay, y'all. <laughs> He ain't on the plank. But the wood piece is still in, but the, the, the plastic piece is still in there. He could be in a plastic piece. The pesticides had to have pesticide. I ain't see him run up. His only choice would have been to run below on the wood. But he is dead. He has to be. He has to be. He has to be. Okay, you can't touch that. So you gotta use the wood to get that up out of there. Make sure you ain't blending in. Okay. It's your daughter, father, and I'm on the main line. Ah! It's your daughter, father, and I'm on the main line. Ah! I see his body. I see his body. Okay, what she gonna do? She gonna get a napkin and you gonna smash that little man. <clears throat> yeah, I got you. Uh huh. I got you. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus, because Lord, you know my mind. I would not have been able to fathom not finding that young thing body. Oh, Lord Jesus. Is there like a pesticide that you can put out to not get them? Maybe I spray my vents or something. So, so the cracks in the window. You know what? <clears throat> I'm gonna pick pick him up and throw him away and I gotta take a break because I've been through I've been through too much. And I'm honestly gonna I feel like I I'm hoping I'm gonna laugh at this footage later. But I just wanna say one thing. I appreciate y'all for being with me through this because normally I call my mama and she probably at work. And she would have been like, Deja, he ain't trying to like, come on, you just kill it. And I understand that, but you know, sometimes, you know, not everything is your strong suit. Not everything is something you can handle. And then handle alone is another another caveat um, to that. And that was definitely not something that I can handle alone so i just i just want to thank y'all for being here for me for, for being here for me now if you just excuse me we're we gonna get into the to the shower and all that stuff um but i think for right now i deserve to just take a second and call my mama and pray she don't break um
Thank y'all. You know what? I put that on backwards. So I don't think it's gonna change nothing. But. <clears throat> <clears throat> And pray that, you know, me spraying as much as I did don't damage the wood. Because what alternative did I have? There wasn't one. He was small. He could have like slid between the... I tried to get it first with the paper towel and that's not like me. I come first with sprays. If I don't have sprays, bleach, chemicals, I don't know, something. I figured what would kill me should kill you. So that was bold of me. I didn't want to take a second to shout out to, to the past me, but trying to come at it with a paper towel. It was like three paper towels, but shout out to me for trying to come at it with a paper towel because I don't do that. I come at a distance with something get you crippled then i come in with the kill with something else like not physically me touching you absolutely not shout out to god for not letting that thing crawl up on my arm because let me tell you something i would have went on to glory today i'm rambling because i don't know i just i'm partially embarrassed and i don't know how to how to fix it and I think I just got adrenaline pumping in me, so I'm getting a little talkative. I know my hair probably looks stupid. I just look a mess. <clears throat> um, but I'm going to wash my hands and sit down for a second. Call my mom. Th thank y'all. This, this stays between us. Sleeping all day. She fan rolling. 50 all gays. About to. The body's on fire. Who let me alone till you get tired? Who baby, you got what I You the real one, I'm inspired. So I just made my steak, let me flip it, and my potatoes, and my broccoli from the other night. Well, shall I say I made the other two steaks today. I didn't make them the other day. But I'm about to sit down and eat. But yeah, I'm about to eat my steak. It was beautifully cooked. Little pink. Mm-hmm. The other night when I cooked it, I had cooked my steak just a little too long. So it was a little, it was more so on the well side than the medium well. So today, it's a lot better.
and I like my steak just a little pink. <clears throat> I used to only like steak well done because I didn't play with like the blood and stuff. T hitting. Still don't, but just a little pink. More medium well than medium. I don't know what you would call this. Like if you would call this, I don't know. Would you call this medium or medium well? Probably more medium. Probably more medium. I don't know. But either way. Delicious. And what actually made me start getting into medium, medium well steaks. Anytime I go to a restaurant, I will always order well, but I made steak one night at home and it was before I had my meat thermometer. I had watched um, Gordon Ramsay's tutorial on YouTube, how to cook the perfect steak. And he said cook it one minute per side. And I was like, but he said he liked his steaks more rare, I think. I said, I can't do that, Gordon. I gotta do a little bit longer. So I think instead of doing, cause I think normally I would cook like three minutes per side. I think that day I did like maybe two minutes per side, which is kind of what I did today. And when I cut into it, I let it rest and then I cut into it and it was still a little pink and I was like, man, I don't want to refry my steak or recook my steak. So I tasted it and I was like, I kind of see what people's on with the medium way because it kind of like melt in your mouth. Um, did you see how easy I just bit that piece? All this to say, sometimes it's okay to broaden your horizons. You might find things you like more that you're just like, close-minded to. Like me finding my love for medium well steak. I don't think I could ever do rare. That's not in me. I think rare is a little too pink. Like, did you see how easily I just bit that steak? Well done steak. <laughs> That's like that skit from, uh oh. It's like that skit from Saturday Night Live when she was like using everything to cut through her steak because it was so tough. And also, when I used to eat well done steak, I would only eat it with like steak sauce. A little garlic, a little butter, a little garlic butter base. Mm. You don't need nothing else. <clears throat> and when I eat it like this, I feel like you get a different experience with the steak. <laughs> Not me trying to be a food connoisseur, food critic. Um, anyway. But 
I definitely understand why people say it takes a different form. Like it doesn't, it tastes like steak, but better like. A1. And not the steak sauce. I was so corny. <sighs> I'm enjoying myself. Just appreciate how I didn't struggle to bite that steak. Now one thing I think I won't be able to get with it's like the beef tart, or beef tartar. I think it's beef tart. Or they just eat it like raw. With like just a little egg on it. I know that's probably more so Asian cultures, but like, I barely eat raw fish. And I really only eat it because I have a passion for a pepper tuna. That's really the only raw fish I eat. Mmm. And it just like soaks back up its own juices like mm. if you ain't tried medium well steak medium medium well you sleep you don't know what you're missing out on you might one might argue you haven't really had steak. One thing I don't like, I still don't like the fat though. I don't like steak fat. <clears throat> <clears throat> my camera's dying. I'm gonna enjoy my steak and my food, and I'll see y'all later. I said five in the morning. I wake up to five for my yard. Yeah, in my mind is a warning. Pray to the